All right, Team Nigeria doing uh, the country proud in Faraway, Bahamas. Honorable Bukola Olokpade is the chairman, Nilayo Sports, and uh, uh, that's the, 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 the um, um, organization that puts together um, the majority of marathon races in Nigeria, including the Lagos and Abuja marathons. It's live on the program from Bahamas. Glad to have you on the show today. Um, it's been a great experience for Team Nigeria in Bahamas with four out of five relay teams qualifying for the Olympics. What has propelled this huge success or turning point for Nigeria athletics? Good afternoon, viewers, and good afternoon, my brother. Uh, first of all, I join you in congratulating in Nigeria, the Athletic Federation of Nigeria, and of course, all uh, well-meaning Nigerians for this uh, huge feat. I call it huge because um, if you go down memory, you realize that this is the first time in the history of these relays um, that Nigeria is excelling in literally every aspect of the relay that we took part in. Um, I was here seven years ago, and it was an abysmal performance. Uh, to be able to go home with four slots, four qualifications for firings, um, all for completed or all for qualified. Is huge. Um, to answer your question, what is um, the reason for all of this? I, I, like I said to the Athletic Federation family last night uh, during the review meeting there, um, I think a whole lot of uh, credit should be given to the cooperation between the Athletic Federation and um, the members coming together for once to say, look, let's shift, shift our swords, bury the archer. All in house fighting should stop. Let's be focused on getting it right, not just for um, ourselves as administrators, but also for the children, the, the young men and women who are um, your stakeholders and uh, practitioners in athletics. And I think that uh, unified front has really helped um, us to grow in athletics. You must also look at the fact that the contribution of the private sector in athletics in recent times is beginning to bear uh, positive fruit. When you look at what Premium Trust Bank um, are doing with athletics across board, from endorsement of Toby Amushaw to Ezra Brume to supporting athletics tradition of Nigeria, and of course to putting so much even into supporting um, the, the, the men and women who came to Bahama you will realize that the mindset of positive thinking has been planted and is beginning to uh, manifest. But we should not just look at this performance in Bahamas in isolation. We should also look at the All-African Games, where athletics excels tremendously. Mm. And go back to last year, when they turned out good results across the board, from Toby to Este to uh, Asher to Ishikiri. And now we are looking at Chidi. And uh, 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 Udodi, the new, the new young star who was the world champion in 2021 for 200 meters, okay. who is now having one of the best three top times uh, in athletics. And you see that a whole lot of things are pretty positive for, uh, for athletics. Okay. I may want to ask you next, uh, I mean, next now, because, I mean, um, the qualifying Nigerian teams, you know, have been described as an understrength on the strength team due to the absence of some key athletes um, in Bahamas for Nigeria. Does this suggest that a full strength relay team can be medal prospects for Nigeria at the Olympic Games? 100, 100. <laughs> Chidi said to me last night, he said, he, he said uh, Mr. Lopade, tell corporate Nigeria that by the time um, Two of my colleagues joined me, and one of these young stars that ran with me uh, for the 4 by 400 that we would go. Yes, gold. And I was very moved with the confidence he showed. But when you look at the 4 by one uh, relating, both male and female, Tobi was missing in the women category. One other athlete was missing. But when you look at the men, um, Asher was not there, Brume was not there, um, Ishakiri was not there, 
And you, we did not take part in the four by four women because Patrice Okon and one other athlete were missing for, for us to be solid. And when you look at the mixed relay, Patrice Okon was missing again. That gives us so much confidence and so much belief that there would be podium standing by the grace of God in Paris. I'm, I'm a pathological optimist and I'm very optimistic that there will be at least two to three podium uh, standing for athletics at the Olympics this year. All right, uh, Honorable, I saw clips of your conversation with the president of the Ghana Athletics Federation uh, and where he challenged that Ghana Jolof is far better than Nigeria Jolof. Please uh, let him know that Nigeria Jolof is supreme. Over no, 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 no. <laughs> he, he actually did not challenge. He actually did not challenge. He was reacting to uh, Mario Yali MFR saying that, okay, we, we release this first Jolof to Ghana and we'll get the second Jolof in Paris. And he said all Jolof are the same and that um, he was looking forward to a good race outing for both Nigeria and Ghana. <laughs> Let me just say this quickly. Yeah. Before the race, I'd whispered to him that, listen, it's going to be one and two for Ghana and Nigeria. I do not know how it was going to be, but I was so sure either Ghana or Nigeria was going to win first, second, and it turned out that way. And I'm grateful that Africa showed that we are back in athletics mm. and it can only get better. Absolutely. And I also I also got uh, uh, um, a hint that uh, Nilaya will be taking a half marathon to Accra uh, very soon. We shall be having a conversation with you. Who can uh, be that news? Oh, that is, you are so correct. <laughs> That's breaking news. Because, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> because we have no discussions. We only tidied up the deal and everything mm. a few days ago. Fantastic. Somebody in my office must have squealed to you that it is true. <laughs> we are moving to Accra and we are having a half marathon in a, in a few months. Fantastic. Fantastic. Best of luck, Honorable Bukola or Lokpade. Uh, he was actually a former commissioner of sports in Ogun State uh, back then. Thank you so much for your time on the program today. Thank you.